Hello guys, welcome back to New York Tips. Today I'm gonna show you top 10 IKEA products you need to decorate your small New York City apartment. When I made research about square footage of apartments in Manhattan and Brooklyn, it's very obvious that apartments are too small and too expensive. And pretty much you're gonna get around 300 square foot space for around $3,000 per month in Manhattan and maybe $2,500 in Brooklyn or Queens or other boroughs. So the price doesn't change that much. To be able to use your apartment with maximum efficiency, you're gonna need all of these IKEA products for sure in your new New York apartment. After coronavirus lockdown, I observed that so many people are trying to relocate, like maybe New York locals are moving out to other states. On the other hand, I see many people from different states are unemployed and they are trying to move into the city to find a better job or secure a career here. And maybe some people want to take advantage of the lower rental prices because since 2008 real estate market crash, New York always had higher and higher rents every single year. But this year everything has changed and the rents are going a little bit low and this means you can be able to get a better location or a better square foot apartment for a better price. And if you have a job here, that sounds great. I know that so many schools are closed, but still so many schools in New York are considering the hybrid system, so students are going to get education one week at the school and the second week in a row will be held online. So this way not all the students will be filling up the campus all the time and many international students will be able to hold on to their visa status. So let's do this and let me show you my favorite IKEA furniture items for your New York apartment. I rented many apartments in New York during my five years stay here. I started out from Manhattan, I moved to Queens, then I lived like two years in Brooklyn and I also stayed in Manhattan for a while. So pretty much all the apartments were challenging in terms of being small, not having so many closet space. The kitchen, the living room area was so tiny and it was not very okay to have like too much large size furniture. You also want to maximize the storage space when you are buying any kind of furniture because you are just giving that so expensive, so impossible space to just one furniture. So you want to have extra expectations from that furniture. It's not like decorating a very, very large space that you want to put anything you have and they will go along together. So in New York apartments, you always have to choose something which fits and serves the best for you and of course in your price range. Also another uh, thing to consider when you are purchasing any furniture is, uh, New York apartments don't have an elevator most of the time. That means you need to carry your stuff like three floors, four floors with the stairs. And considering the labor cost being very high, you don't want to pay to someone like $300 to carry a $200 sofa upstairs, right? So you always wanna choose items that you can carry by yourself or maybe help of some friends. So you are not going to pay somebody extra labor costs. So IKEA has the best products in that sense. Their products are lightweight. Also, you purchase them separate boxes. So you can carry a big section of sofa in six different boxes, smaller pieces. And they can easily fit in a car, they can easily fit in a small van. You are not going to need a very big truck or all the expenses of it. You're just gonna need a car or Uber or you can order, order it online and you just carry it easily yourself or with some help. And when you open the boxes, it's easy to make them together. It takes a while, but you can watch some YouTube, YouTube videos, like there are some people sharing some tips about how to make them better, and I will share my own tips with you guys. So let's do this. Top 10 IKEA products for New York City small apartments. First on my list is bed frames with drawers. IKEA has amazing beds which have also lots of drawers. 
For example, this Hamnes series, Brimnes, Nordley, Flecke. They all have drawers underneath the bed. So that means you can maximize the use of the space under the bed and you can use them for your winter clothes or summer clothes, sport equipment, your books and whatever you want to store you can easily hide them under the bed without irritating your eyes. So I love this trick. I think it's a must have in New York City. Second tip for IKEA shoppers in New York is Vardigan cast iron grip. So this is a pan but it's made of cast iron. It's a very heavy duty iron and it cooks your vegetables or steak or chicken same as a barbecue. And also you can hold it with your hand and put it in the oven if you want to keep cooking your food in the oven. So one size fits all kind of thing like you're gonna have a pan, you're gonna have a cook tray, you're gonna have a barbecue. So I really like the idea of having this product. We're cooking in New York you are not allowed to use a barbecue or a grill because there is no balconies or even if you have a balcony the building regulations doesn't allow people to make a barbecue. The third on my list is a sectional sofa. Quite very popular and I think it's also very widely used everywhere in the world not only in New York but this sofa in particular has a very tidy shape. It's not too long, it's not too high, like it fits most of the apartments and even if you have a little bit of living room space, I'm sure this sofa is the one which gonna fit the most. Um, because you don't have a big living space, you wanna have a smaller sofa but also you need to host people there. So if you have friends visiting you, probably you're gonna need a four people seat in one sofa. So that's why sectional sofas are great because four people can easily sit down side by side without any problems. And another benefit of this sofa is there is an underneath storage at the, at the chase part. It's definitely a large space. So you can store additional bedding for your guests. And what I love about this sofa is it's easily transformed to a queen-size bed and it's very comfortable to sleep in. So if you have a friend staying with you for a couple nights, for a week, this can be a nice bedding situation for your friend, for your family. And it's nice. Go to number four. So this one is a six drawer dresser. Uh, luckily it has very nice colors but my favorite one is of course white uh, it has black holding uh, tools but you can replace them from anthropology or something from Amazon like you can customize them easily so this dress different sides and it is a very big surface top of the dresser uh, in New York I saw many people using this six drawer dresser as a TV unit why not? Because if you don't have much space, then this is a great idea because this dresser doesn't look like very bedroom style. So my next item is a cloth rack. So I told you like I was moving around a lot in New York and every time I move to an apartment there is new challenges and the furniture is going to be disassembled and carried with a truck or a car and you take them upstairs whatever the closet systems are very sensitive to motion so you, it, you need to be very expert on it to disassemble it or this or make it all over again and I see so many closets were broken up when we were carrying and I don't recommend buying a very expensive very big closet and I don't think it's gonna fit even if I don't think most of the bedrooms don't have enough space for a three four five door closet space so you need something smaller but you also want to have a nice closet but you know why not you gonna get this turbo cloth rack it's very heavy duty it looks cool it's black color and I think it's the perfect solution also if you are going to hang your work shirt office shirts or summer dresses or 
or jackets like it holds so much stuff and it's not going to look very bad if you are a little bit intentional with the color coding or sixth on my list is lock shelf so lock shelf has different sizes this one is 43 inch so it's quite a long shelf and it's a floating shelf system so it is a special tool that you just mount it on the wall and it stays there and you cannot see any brackets so that looks very nice to my eyes and you know if it's a small room then you want to have less clutter you want to have sharp objects and this one looks very nice and if you buy the white color it's gonna mix with the walls and it looks perfect so in the pictures I see they used to store this files and books on the shelf but you you cannot only use them for books like I see many people use this shelves for shoe storage especially women like to put their heels on multiple layers of black shelf on the wall and I think it looks the best possible shoe rack so it really looks good also you can put them some of these in your kitchen and have additional plate storage or mug storage also you can use this as a night table if you choose the smaller one if you don't have enough space to put a dresser or a nightstand near your bed then why not just put this little black wall shelf just to put your glasses or... next let's move to the desk IKEA desk is Fijal Bro this is a laptop table and you know after all of the new things happening with the coronavirus people need a space to work at home and um, you cannot go to library as often you cannot go to office so you need a desk and this desk has a perfect size for a small apartment in New York City and it's very multifunctional it has some wheels underneath there's a cable organizer so I think this is an amazing laptop desk and I recommend you to get a nice mirror on top and switch it to a vanity when you don't use the desk. It just looks very good and it looks it's gonna look very good with the brick style New York apartments in Manhattan. Next on my list is Kallax Shelf. So Kallax shelves have so many options. You can use them as a room divider and especially in studio apartments in New York, Kallax shelf is a must have because this is the best solution to maximize your storage space while also making a room divider between the bed and the sofa. I like the Kallax add-on options. You can put like shelves or extra brackets and it looks very good. It's a very good organizer. Another the dresser I showed which was okay for underneath the TV it was around 130 dollars but if your budget is lower than that if you want to just get the cheapest option possible if you don't want to deal with making the dresser and parts I recommend getting the Kallax shelf for just 69 dollars and there is like eight boxes here and this is also a nice storage space for clothes or for cables or it has a big surface space so I think this one would be a better option for many people. So now we are on the ninth of the list and it's Fixa. I love the Fixa series and I think I've purchased like all of them multiple times because over time like I use it and I miss some tools and I buy it again. But it's a great kit. First of all I recommend this Fixa screwdriver lithium ion kit for $19.99 so this is a very tiny tiny very easy to use screw or drill so you can make holes on the wall you can put up your paintings you can make your IKEA furniture with this and you can put your um, curtains onto the wall so it has many usage and I think it's a must have for New York apartment because in New York we need to use the vertical space to make storage space, put your shoes, you need shelves, you need paintings, you need some, all the stuff you're gonna need should be on the wall and to make them secure 
you can't just put a nail on the wall you know it doesn't hold a mirror or something it's just gonna fall down and your landlord cut it from your deposit <laughs> so the best way to do it is get a screwdriver drill everything make them very secure and um, when you're moving out you can buy cheap uh, white paint and just makes little touch-ups so they are not going to notice anything my last item is Sanella curtains New York City has a very bright summertime like from June till end of September it's super super hot it's like desert hot and it's very shiny bright and it's hard to sleep when you don't have a blackout curtain so I thought like recommending this Sanella room darkening curtain is a good thing to do because these are perfect for cutting out the sunshine and having a good night's sleep on the other hand at the winter time it's a little bit tough because it's gonna be so cold and at the cold you want to you know reduce the loss of heat from the glass and the walls and I recommend this vanilla curtains so you can close them up and make your room a little bit warmer so they are very multifunctional and beside everything like they have very cool color and they have matchy matchy throw pillows and I think they have a good price point and very high quality so I love this curtain and I think it's the best curtain in IKEA definitely thank you for watching the video stay on tune for my next videos coming up